Hello everyone, TAC1421 here, welcome back to some more Captain Toad. In the last episode, we took on level two, book two, level three, Minecart Sunset Rundown. In this episode, we're going to take on level four, Sinister Street Signs. Let's hop right into it with Captain Toadette here. So I'm enjoying this game a lot. I took a little bit of a break from it, I had some other stuff to do, but let's go ahead and check this level out here. We see the star over there, we see a lot of signs. Some some of those chucking chucks or whatever they're called. And I actually don't see any diamonds, I don't think. There might be something down. I think we have to hit some of those like the POW blocks and, and we'll probably go down the pipes and stuff like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and I guess just walk forward. Is that what we're supposed to do? I don't really think we can do anything else. So yeah, let's just do that. So, oh, okay. There's like a, a hidden bridge. Alright, let's see here. You just keep going straight. Oh, I see a dime right there. I, don't, I can't believe I didn't see that. It's in the corner over there. So, can we get over there? Is that possible? Just gonna keep on walking slowly. See if we can get over there. I think I think we can get over there. Let's keep running. Oh, not really running, but walking. There we go. That's our first diamond. And I think we can just jump on the head of these guys if I can. Um, actually, I want to go on that power block, don't I? So let's keep on going over here. And does this extend out? I think it does. Cool. And all right, so I think we just hop right down. It, it tells us to go down. So I guess we just follow the signs and jump on down to this POW block. What does that do? It just changed the signs up? Gotcha. All righty, so it looks like there is probably a diamond in there. Or actually, that's how we get to the very bottom. Okay, but we want to get all the diamonds, so. I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing over here. Oh boy! Mistakes were made! Ah! Run away! All the charging chucks can uh, take care of these guys. Where's the... Oh, I can't go in there yet! Oh, yes I can! Oh boy. Can I jump on this guy's head? Oh, yep, yeah, got him! Oh boy, I can run around, can't I? Change the camera angle. Come on, charging chuck, I wanna keep one of them alive. So I can go ahead and charge on everything. Go back this way. I think there's a dime right here. Yes, there is. All right, where's our last diamond? Probably over there. Probably in this ginormous pillar thing, if I, if I have to guess. So let's go ahead and go up here. And now what? <laughs> I guess we just go this way. The signs have changed, though. So maybe we go over this way? Can we go over here? Looks like we can. Alrighty. And now let's hit the other power block. I guess it's not really a power block, it's really like a P. A P block. Alright, P block. What does that do? Oh, the diamond's under here. Got it. Alright, so that's all three diamonds. Now we just have to make sure we don't die. There's lots of coins over here, so let's try to get all the coins. Coins! Charging Chuck! Get everything! All right, charge and shot. Kill this guy. Yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and get that. Um, do we? Is there a way of killing charge and Chuck? I think we'd have to jump on his head again. Come over here, charge and Chuck. Oh, I don't want to go up the thing. Oh boy. All right, charge and Chuck over here. I'm gonna kill him somehow. Over here, buddy. There you go. Got him. All right, so we got all the charging chucks. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I think all we have to, all we need to do now is just basically re retake our steps or go go over here again. And we should be good. So we have to follow the signs again. And can we go this way? Yes, we can. Awesome. Let's not fall off though. All right. Oh, did we fall? What just happened? Oh, I slid down something, I think. I think is what happened there. Yeah, because we were up, up up, top there, and I think we just slid down. Okay, so now we just go straight ahead, it looks like. Right inside of here. Jump on down. Is there any goodies anywhere? There's another poster. Uh, I think we're good. So let's go ahead and get the, the star, and that is course clear. Sinister Street Signs. This is a pretty fun little level. Level four. Defeat all the all of the mud troopers. Did we do that? I think we did. Yeah, those were those ghost things. Or I guess they're mud troopers. So awesome! 
So that is level four, Sinister Street Signs. In the last episode, also, we, we got ourselves one of these coins galore, so I guess I'll take that on right now. I'm not 100% sure what we did previously, if we did a pickaxe or a cherry. So what I'll do is I'll just do a pickaxe now, and then next time, if I remember, I'll do the cherry. All right, let's run over here. Get it. Oh. Oh, get all the mushrooms. Those will give us the most. I missed one. No, I missed a gold mushroom. Oh, I did not do very good that one. I was not prepared for that. Oh boy. <laughs> well, regardless, I think we get one life from that, so that's kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, so we defeated, we got 100% on Sinister Street Signs, got all three diamonds, we, and we defeated all of the Mud Troopers for the hidden achievements. And in the next episode, oh, we got another little cutscene, I guess, not a cutscene, but uh, Onward Toadette. And then the next episode, level five, we're taking on Floaty Fun Water Park, another water park, another water level, it seems, with all these Goombas in these little paracel things, these floating devices, I'm not really sure what they're called, but it looks like uh, Toadette's on that, that bench over there, just kind of sleeping, <laughs> so it's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed level four, Sinister Street Signs, in the next episode again, we're going to be taking on Floaty Fun Water Park, I'll see everyone then, peace.